right. Save. Uh, so we need to turn in Shino's request. Let's see who's available today. Let's do that first. And then uh, have, have the chat vote on who we're going to help. Um, so that way, that way we'll know it's available. <laughs> okay, so Shara wants to Shara wants to do some SEA stuff. That's a, I don't know about that. Uh, Karina, Pia, Sophia, and Raven. Uh, so chat, let what me know. About Wells? Is he doing quick a doodle? Nope. Nope. Flower Blossom. So chat of those five ladies who are we helping. I'm not even gonna ask anybody else. <laughs> and then I'll get back to actual farm work. Oh, we got more uh, tomatoes. Look at the great sword. That's pretty cool. It's totally just the claymore with a extra uh, thing on the blade. But let's see. We will cut down another one. All right, tomato seeds. Ah, excellent. Even more seeds. There's there's one there's some branches. Those are the branches we need already. So finally, the finally the pumpkins are ready. Huh. Good grief! Pumpkin. That took four, oh, all three of them. Yeah. Oh, I thought there were further downs. Yeah, that, oh man, that took that took a long time. <laughs> oh, and they don't even regrow. You got a long sword <laughs> charge attack from picking a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm guessing from walking, but huh? Uh -oh. <laughs> huh. But yeah, yeah. So one time crops that take forever to make, and we have to have done something wrong. There's nothing I can think of. Well, don't look at me. I disclaim any responsibility. <laughs> Okay, so where's our watering can? I, I have it equipped. No, no, I don't. Uh, there we are. It looks a little bit different now that we got the fancy uh, lion can. So, so do this number. Then, I uh, love it. I save so much time. Okay, and then so these are fire. When did I plan those? It's a problem when so much time passes between streams. I just, you know, lose track of everything. So, we'll get some seeds. Oh, we're out, all, out already. All right, so what are we putting away? Uh, one pumpkin seed. And I probably can't even plant the other one. No, you wouldn't have We wouldn't have time, right? Uh, so, tomato seeds we might, though. I would suggest, too, that whenever you get into fall, you use a greenifier on one of the uh, seeds that you plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, what did you just plant? Uh, the tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I don't know if you'll have time, but you might. Right. Uh, Maybe drop the pineapple and stumps, because yeah. you don't have any use for them. Oh, I <laughs> didn't mean to... <laughs> I... Would you... There we go. <laughs> well, I meant selling it. Uh... You don't have any recipes for pineapple. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Well, I, I, we could just, I figured I might try just plopping it down and cutting it. Okay. And let's see if we can make pickles with, with that. Are you uh, going to keep that fossil skull? Oh, what, what, what can we do with that? Uh, I'll I put it away for now and see what we can do with it. I know that you sold the one that you got from Boss, I think. Mm. Uh, let's let's uh, put... Let's see. So that. And we, and we have some corn I can uh, make some cornflakes with. Yep, if you milk the... Uh, your buff of milk. Okay. Sell your fleece. Yeah. Uh, well, let's do uh, convert that to yarn. Jeez, I just have so much stuff to do and not enough room in my inventory to do it with. <laughs> well, I think you just need to learn to prioritize a little more. Right, right. So let's uh, uh, take care of him. Look, all this stuff will stack at least. Okay. And then we pet all of the things. Yeah, I, I like the bar. I like having a big, you know, critter uh, to you to have to have around. But he's kind of worthless. And we can ride the buffalo. I'm pretty sure. What's, yes. what's her name? We call B B <laughs> right. Uh, Shank, you have earned that one. There we are. Yeah, we might just send the bar away and grab grab something else. Okay, and then we cut down one corn. Get these seeds. For next time, and then make some cornflakes. Okay, put that in the fridge. All right, I think we got some progress there. Because I remember right, cornflakes sold for quite a bit. Uh, 
What, where was that at? Was that by hand? There it is. Uh, yeah, like 1100 for a bowl of cereal. I mean... <laughs> okay. Gyoza. Yeah, I remember seeing that. That seemed like it might be something I'm kind of interested in, in uh, cooking. And we need three pickles. Pickles don't sell for a ton, but still more than the cucumbers themselves, and always getting more cooking XP. And how many rune points do we use it for that? It's about 30 a pop on those. I love how with all the, the stuff we do uh, around, around the house uh, compared to fighting, we have so many more rune points than, <laughs> than uh, uh, HP. Okay. So, let's do... Okay, that's our fleece from the woolly. Let's go turn that into yarn real quick, too, while we're here. We just about tapped out of rune points before we even get started. Let's, and the things we need to do in town, we need to... Uh, let's see, we do, do our requests, of course. Before anything else, we need to upgrade our storage bin with Gaius and buy more recipe bread from Blaze. I've meant to do that, I think, two days now, and just uh, something else will always come up first. <laughs> so let's actually do that to stock up on all the recipe bread we can get. And I think we have the lumber to to upgrade stuff with Gaius, too. So is that all of them? we got one more. Okay. Oh, we need even more still. Right, because because we got a we got a bonus fleece that was already there, in addition to the stuff we sheared. There we go. Okay. That's a lot of room points. So put the uh, butter away. And anything else to put away here? Seeds, right? Uh, so level three seeds. And they grow in six days. How much time do we have? Eight. Okay. So we can plant those. And a hammer piece. Piece of a broken hammer upgrades increases. Huh. That's pretty cool. So those are different levels. That's why they're not stacking. So we can sell those. And upgrades chance of one-hit kills. That's pretty cool, too. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to have to... Yeah, 10 days is not enough time. So we're just going to have to upgrade the... Uh, the storage bin and put that, put that stuff away. And then sell, the, sell the everything else. Okay. So, get the seeds, buy our flower, and... Oh, we're full up on space uh, there. Oh, no, 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 okay. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and then corn we were going to... Uh, yeah, I must have sell that too. Seriously, at this point, you know. Okay, so let's do the important stuff first. That is Gaius here. What is she up to? <laughs> Alright. I, I like the NPCs interacting with each other. Right. That's a nice uh, touch of normalcy that a lot of games just don't really bother with. Well, see, you might want to get a different outfit for Mika. True. Because, you know, I like the swimsuit and all, but we do have other options. True. I was going to wait until fall, but... So, I guess we have to talk to Raven. I was thinking Gaius. I guess he's the one that actually does it. <laughs> what? <laughs> but she's still all business. <laughs> I guess she gave a reply that could that could work either way. Uh, is it not those two that upgrade your your storage and stuff? Maybe it's Hazel. Hmm. Well, uh, for Gaius, it's a different option. Like, he, it's a different dialogue tree. It, but we didn't get a dialogue tree at all with him. Huh. Let's see. Furniture. Uh, sword box. Okay, so it's with her. Oh, 17 pieces of wood short. You can get that pretty easy. Yeah. So let's do that. Really, like, one or two stumps should, should be enough. Oh, but our rune points, though. Uh, what can we eat to make that up? Uh, well, grass would do it. How much 
is that worth? Not much. Would the pickles do? Oh yeah, there's a thought. Excellent. Good call. Okay. I don't. Uh, well, that's fine. Yeah, I was gonna say if you were going to sell it, it might have been better to sell the lesser uh, level ones. But... Oh, uh, the, the the higher level ones sell for more. And they don't uh, increase the amount that uh, affection. Yeah. I don't believe so. Okay. <laughs> I love that you can do that. Right. How did I make it so long without realize without picking what picking everything up? One at a time. I mean, I'd go for the extra. Go for the gusto. Yep. All right. Let's see. We need 17. That is basically two stacks, and yeah. we have three. So there we go. All right, Hazel. <laughs> Build us a new storage box. Let's talk to her first. Oh, I see. <laughs> nice. I can see why people like uh, Hazel in that regard. Because I, I, th uh, I think we talked to her before about that one. Or I, talk, I mentioned that in the stream before. That's something I like about Carmen. She is really direct about going after going after Micah. <laughs> you can put tons of stuff in there. I know. <laughs> wait, wait. What? For the bookshelf? This must be a glitched uh, thing yeah. there. Bookshelf, no problem. Okay, so, so that's probably just a mistranslation. Yeah, they just screwed up, screwed that up. It's like the first time they've done something like that, though. Whereas for Awakened Fate Ultimatum, they like it, you know, just there's a bunch of descriptions that are just backwards on and mixed up. It's like, ah. <laughs> okay. So we'll have to go back to that bookshelf and see what we can do with it later, but for now. And we tell, yep, teleport back and they still beat us. Now, now that's Soybus. <laughs> okay. The fortune teller strikes. So, let's do, put this stuff away. Wow, you get a lot of space for that. Yes, yeah, it just about doubles it. And then all of these uh, things will probably hold off on until we get upgraded weapons and then use those. Uh, let's see, do I think we have... Uh, it would be so much easier if you could just sort your freaking inventory right. though, in these uh, bins. Okay. And then those go in the fridge. And then sell your yarn? Yeah. Let's see. Right. There we go. And... Yeah, yarn. There we go. And I was thinking about going out fighting and trying out the... When I saw the amulet there. But I think we'll do just do that next time. So, we had a vote for Raven. So I have to go back and, and pay a visit to her. <laughs> oh, right. We, do have, we actually haven't actually turned in Shino's request yet. So we've, <coughs> with, the, with those combat requests, I think they're done once we once we get done killing all the enemies. But I still have to go back and turn them in. Hello. All right. Not that she had any doubts, but Thanks a lot. I was sorry, I was gonna make a joke about how Mike is stained with the blood of his foes, but what would mushrooms leak? I mean, even ooh, ruby ring. Oh, Ninja Mom gave us a ring, but unfortunately, <laughs> ah, ruby ring, uh, level two ruby ring, even. Oh, she gives you quality. Yeah. Uh, so what can we do with it? Upgrading. Uh, so. Has, has incoming fire damage. So Is once, there any other benefit to it? Yes. So a little bit of everything, right. defensively. I think it's probably worth it over the critical hit thing. Now, I noticed we were getting a lot of critical hits. Yeah. So that's good, that's good too, though. Just good stuff across the board. What other item was it that was like good for... Uh, so, but something that was immune to fire, but I can't remember what it was now. Was it an item, maybe? Bug, if there's a ring, it's a thing. <laughs> if she liked it, she should have put a ring on it. <laughs> okay, now we can do Raven's Request. Did that count as... It's still available, okay. Alright, so then we run back down to her. <laughs> oh! 
Every time I see Raven's portrait on the mini-map, I think it's uh, Shara, because her hair is just so much lighter on there than, than how it is here. Hmm. With a brooch? Well, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I guess he I guess he has all the... It's one of those things about those Sears commercials for the guy who has everything. Uh -huh. It's like, Gaius has all the hammers he could possibly use, so you have to think outside the box to get something you would like. Well, in this case, <laughs> you're actually thinking inside the box. The jewelry box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chat, okay. Would we be happy to get a brooch from a lady who might actually be a bird? Or would we not or do we not wear jewelry? Ignoring the ring we have on our hand right now that boosts our critical hit chance. <laughs> well, maybe uh you know, thinking of the woolly form, you know, the scarf and the acorn hat isn't technically jewelry. True, so. true. <laughs> Micah's a fan of bling. Has to be fabulous. Keen ads. There we go. Some hard bone for a What base. is up with NPCs needing us to fulfill these quests now? <laughs> I thought we had hit peak uh, annoyance with, uh, with Marjorie and Marion wanting us to make, to, to make dinner that they, that they invited us to. <laughs> <laughs> that I that I think still hasn't been topped. <laughs> yeah, just the fact that you have the situation where uh, you know the family invites you over to dinner and says, "Oh yeah, here's a shopping list." Right. <laughs> You're gonna get sunburned, Micah. <laughs> kind of looks like he already is with the. I think uh, that's just because you're like a blush or something. But... Hmm. <laughs> Double entendre <laughs> ultimatum! <laughs> Lorax referring to Hardbone. Her, her, her. <laughs> oh, we have another dialogue choice. Is it weird that that the, the the maiden can't feel anything? Or are we just going to acknowledge that, yeah, she's lucky that the heat doesn't bother her? I'm glad we're getting some dialogue choices because I usually hold off for those to get my water. My voice is starting to get a little, little dry and uh, and ragged now that <laughs> we haven't had any for a while. Like. Is she weird or lucky or or both? I mean. <laughs> Claw Frank, she is a ghastly succubus and must eventually be destroyed. Oh, but, yeah, one Bebuck weird says and one, lucky. And one lucky. Uh, Lorax with a tiebreaker. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, Raven doesn't care. <laughs> uh, Chad goes for lucky. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Peabug. Yeah, it's starting to get humid here in Missouri. And like we, we hit the last two days, have hit ninety. With uh, uh, but you did get some dairy out of that. So. Mm. <laughs> uh, what is she using? He's a sword, right? Or a wand? Or... Let's break it. Break the magic wand too. Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> All right, Lorex. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's still level seven. It says broadsword. Broadsword. So I'm guessing she just has the. Uh, Unique ability to use it. Well, let's give her something because she's kind of terrible right now. Uh, yeah, uh, if you can give her like a long sword or something like that. Hmm. Uh, only thing I have is the great sword. You probably can't use. Yeah, I don't think she uses that. Uh, how about? Well, we could equip that for now. That would help her out. Right. And the boots would increase your defensive stance. I, I believe. don't think she equips accessories. Hmm. Let's see. So yeah, you have item one and item two. Ah, probably not. Okay. I guess we'll probably have to get a shield for her next time. Uh, Vagrants is better than Israel's... Oh, 122 Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh. gosh. That's like Death Valley stuff. It's in the hundreds where Peabug is. Right. Jeez. I guess we'll just have to have her not get hit and use that, that friend animal thing. Or the uh, sun animal thing. Uh, Sun Pendant does also have fire, okay. 
So nothing even nothing is immune to fire yet, but yeah. That's not too bad. Considering those things are resistant to so much damage. Right. Okay. So we need to take her to the fossil. It's probably going to be near the end area. Uh, CNC. Open dunes. Uh, CNC. It might be this one over here. Um, I don't think so. There oh. it is. Yep. Yeah, the big fossil. Ah. That's right, this was the Itoki that one time. Mm hmm. <laughs> Lorax, there are you. <laughs> Oh right, the whole scene with her and uh, and uh, guys. <laughs> Character development gained. He's making her brother a skull brooch. That is probably the most metal thing I've ever heard. And this game is full of them. We just fought a zombie dragon last time. So I guess it's a pirate's life for him. <laughs> Don't push the woolly off the cliff. <laughs> That's exactly what she did. And she knocked us off the map. No, no, we're gonna do. Well, so we turn into the derpy yellow golden sheep, and she like turns into a phoenix or something. <laughs> I think we lose the the transformation game, guys. I think. <laughs> Who's the real player character? Here? Right. <laughs> She still can't catch fish. <laughs> well, she doesn't look like a pelican or anything. You know. that, that would be funny, though. <laughs> okay. That was pretty cool. I was not expecting her to turn into uh, Suzaku or something. <laughs> yeah, she's like... <laughs> To go back to the Atlas thing, you know, she's basically Fen Huang at this point. Right. <laughs> of course, uh, the in Persona games at least they tend to have the four, like uh, yeah, they have both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like to imagine it's like she, she did turn into the the giant uh, phoenix form to rescue Micah. They probably dropped the skull. <laughs> right. Sprawl is asking, is this game more or less anime than the game you were playing earlier this week? Uh, do you mean on Sunday with Awakened Fate? That's probably the one that he's thinking of, yeah. I would say that's the most anime <laughs> game we've ever played. Awakened Fate is probably, probably the most. Rune Factor is definitely up there, though, as we have our protagonist blush and start, start uh, emitting sweat drops. Right. <laughs> I will say that, to put a bit of a finer point on it, mm -hmm. um, this is the most uh, you know, moe anime game we have ever <laughs> played, whereas the other one is more you know dramatic anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're the one with the demons and angels, that's Awakened Fate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap! The, <laughs> he book says he thinks the main difference is that this, this one, referring to Root Factory, is actually good. <laughs> I kind of did the Donald Duck thing where I like raised my finger to protest and nothing. <laughs> Except join us this Sunday at two o'clock <laughs> for Waking Fatal to me. <laughs> oh, so they're not actually brother and sister. No, no. Oh. Yeah, guys cannot transform. Hmm. Yeah, Keen just kind of <laughs> gunned me down. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll be fine by Sunday. <laughs> um. Yeah, Gaius had adopted her, I think. Mm. Essentially. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's kind of her theory, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we let, Ra we let Raven get away with the evidence, so now this is our uh, hush money. <laughs> mm 
That was pretty cute. The scenes have definitely been getting better, I think. Alright. Another another ruby ring. Oh man, we, we've had two girls give us rings today, guys. What are we going to do? <laughs> but oh, Ninja Mom's ring is better, one, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Raven. It's just the, just the way that works. Wasn't meant to be. So that was the... That was a mailbox. Uh, bulletin board's available, right. Okay. Poor uh, Colette. Nobody loves you. Uh, so Hazel Help Stock, Food Quest, and Leaf Balls. Uh, no top tier waifus here, I don't think. Well, Lorax likes Sakuya too, I thought. A little bit, yeah. Uh, well, well, we just got done talk helping Raven. We could do some, we could do Gaia too. Simple request. Sure, yeah. Like someone gets some materials, whereas. Take care of them, quote unquote. I. I, 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 I so instead, well, that's what I would have suggested. <laughs> Lorax would like Raven more if she didn't use ellipses so much. <laughs> well, Lorax, you can't see me turning my face away from you, but it doesn't mean we like you or anything. Oh, Daughter of Ninja Mom is a second favorite. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I forgot about that. Roshara was your, your favorite, right? Or am I, am I getting them mixed up? You did a tier list for me once and I forgot. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no surprise, you know. <laughs> yep, I'll rummage around in my backyard and be right back. I don't know if you have any more indigo bricks or not. Let's see. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Oh, that's a book. <laughs> what the <heck? laughs> A buff of <Bucato. laughs> It's a gigantic sign of beef. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that was easy. All right, Lorax is giving it to you again. Okay. Flower girl, daughter of Ninja Mom, witch okay. doctor. Got it. <laughs> opposite girl, brother lover, bird girl. Don't really care. <laughs> I don't remember either, <laughs> so we saved it. <laughs> yeah, I remembered Shara and uh, and Sakia were up there, but. And yeah, I remember that Marion was there too. Whereas people like Marion too. Right. So whenever we have the chat votes, which we'll probably be doing at the end of summer or autumn, I think. Uh, well, the, the, I imagine she's gonna be up there in the ranks. I, I can really relate to Gaius, you know, forgetting stuff. <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> say. <laughs> honest pay for, frankly, very easy work. So. But it is honest work. You know, I, this might sound crazy, Ben. What? I think we're actually going to have time to go to Monstro Town and do a request with the owl today. What? Surely not. Well, if you forget to turn to a woolly before you get in there, you can <laughs> I, still make it work. I was going to. <laughs> uh, level one. <laughs> you say that as though I didn't know. That. Gotcha. Oh, sniped. Oh. No, I did not snipe. It's already past five. Uh, let's see. So, um, transform. You can't use it here when she's right there. <laughs> Don't go in when you... I, I, I was trying to walk around it. <laughs> well, Karuna, Karuna deserves being being freaked out every now and then. She is kind of <laughs> Random uh, hornless abs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Um, A duck problem. I, if there's more than one choice, I think Karuna's probably last. So. <laughs> Poor Karuna. And that would advance the plot a little bit, but... That's true, we should well, have it. it wouldn't advance plot, it would advance her relationship thing. So right. I would go with on the door. <laughs> well, you did make the point that we should probably follow up on things that could potentially be important. Hello. I mean, I, we haven't seen the, the derpy sheep at all uh, this stream. Because you haven't weird. gotten a monster at him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Are we not good enough for you? Comrade Karuna is kind of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> like everything, because we're living in a freaking <laughs> like desert. Like ninja moms. <laughs> a ray of hope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> See, this is what I don't like about Karuna. She's the kind of person that you say something nice and always spins into something negative. She's just At a that negative time, you person. could spend more time in Glorious Revolution. <laughs> I 
Okay, well, it's like, yeah, she will eventually thaw out, you know, much like Siberia. Right. But, um... <laughs> Well, oh, there's a very obvious uh, thing in there. All but right. do we want to try to woo Comrade Karuna? All right, chat. What do we What do we go for here? I wish I remember the words of the International, the uh, the Communist Worker song. Right, right. So I would start singing it here to fill it in. Because but... <laughs> uh, honestly, it's like the only thing that interests me about uh, Soul Toronto is the items we can get. <laughs> See, if it was me, it'd be like, you know, everyone except her I'm right. interested in. Yeah, Zaid is pretty cool. Yeah. Right. And Honorio actually looks kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. We just haven't interacted with him. Right. At the least, he seems to be the the voice of reason in this group. Right. Which is great. <laughs> uh, Peabag says, nothing this place is terrible, and Lorax concurs. <laughs> <laughs> we got to give her to her straight. You know, that's just that's just how it is. <laughs> I, I think we're gonna help out. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're gonna help out the other guys some more. <laughs> yeah, I, li I like your joke though. It's like she'll eventually thaw, like Siberia. <laughs> Ooh, secret shoes. So what do those do? Uh, you can never out. tell if you're wearing them. Let's see. So that's a good, good amount of defense. Uh, feel nice and tall. So it's at uh, it's that Castlevania reference. Well, sure. Let's put them on. Give them to Zayid. <laughs> no, <Zayn>. we should. <laughs> I don't think you'd appreciate it. <laughs> so we can't even invite him right now. All right. Let's give him something. What do you want? Um. <laughs> Would you, hey, Zaid, could you use a nice cold Coca-Cola here in the desert? Well, tough. All you have is the can. Um, <laughs> Lorax says, you better give up, weirdy. We want to be human. For right, you. right. I uh, guess... <laughs> Hornless abs! Ah! I mean, I, yeah, I guess we'll just give have to... mackerel. Sure. Uh, oh, that's too it, high quality for him. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I, guess, I guess we'll, we'll think of something to give him later. All right. Andorus, that was Andorus, yeah. As in a marquee uh, Andor, Andor. So that's it for the owl. So that's it for everything today. Yeah. Okay, so ne ne next time we will do uh, Andorus's uh, request. Or unless Zaid has one. Right. But. Okay. Uh, feed Zaid blue. <laughs> Alright, and. Uh, oh, that's. What do you give the dwarf that has everything? I must have, we must have forgotten to. <laughs> I can't love get that, that sound, right? But uh, yeah, you did not water your grass. And yeah. You went right past the water can. There it is. There you are. Yeah, the, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get used to the new... Uh, for the new watering can eventually, but... Okay, so... Uh, don't forget the cucumbers. Do we... Yeah, we were completely out of sync on on this one. Because yeah, here, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that... And the fire flowers are ready, and they weren't this morning. This is weird. Okay. Uh, wa everything's watered. Okay, so, yeah. You know, I have to wonder, mm -hmm. could it be a function of the um, of the soil quality? Oh, there's a thought. Like, maybe it actually checks twice a day or something. If it's the highest quality. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what level seeds are we up to now? Three still, okay. Uh, well, even still, let's uh, sell that. And let's get the rest. So. Right. It seems like flowers give more runey uh, or rune things than uh, than uh, 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 crops do. <laughs> and Lorax says he wishes we could have a flower girl mind our crops for us. We should have anything interesting to do. We should run the shop. Right. It's going to count for something. And, yeah, William, don't forget that you can always just set one of your monsters to take care of business. Right. And we're going to need a lot more lumber before we're done, so... Okay. Let's put those away. It is true, we could always get our, our monsters to help out around the farm. So, more wood. Let's see, we have, six, we have eight days left. We can plant another, another fire flower. 
so might as well. Oh, we have a level two fire flower. I guess we can just give that to somebody. Maybe see who we're short on relationship points with. Besides Colette, because anybody likes her. And... Oh, I guess we only got the one seed. Huh. That does remind me to just put those away. Okay, so let's check our stats real quick. Uh, only three on Colette. And then everybody else is... I guess we could give, um, you know, one of the... Maybe Hazel or somebody you might want to get some points with. Or Kruna too. <laughs> Yeah you, yeah, you guys have managed to put most of the Bachelorettes pretty neck and neck in, uh, in here. Of the clock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 8 o'clock now. Probably nobody else still around. Oh, Marion still is. Uh, she's retreating. She's about, yeah. about to go home, right? And did we forget to buy the recipe of bread once again? We did. Yes. We sure did. <laughs> oh, we can catch uh, Sakia. Whoops, wrong one. I meant to have teleport to there. Here. Okay. She'll so, be coming right here. So. Right. Let's see. And it is. I don't know what she actually likes for sure besides money. So. so sashimi. Okay. So yeah, you can make that. Uh... <laughs> and she and she is a professional regifter. <laughs> okay. So so uh, sashimi she likes. Okay. We haven't talked to Clud in forever. I think she just likes food. Well, her birthday is in a month. <laughs> uh, let's see if we have any food we can give her. Uh, sure, pickles when in doubt. Is this pickles for her? She likes rice, though. Okay. Alright, so I felt bad about not ever doing anything nice for Colette, even though nobody likes her. So, Alright, uh, let's see, we've got some time to kill at night. We have a fair few rune points. Uh, let us... Oh, there's the seeds. Okay, I forgot about that. That they're in a separate, they're in that separate section. Neat. Alright. Okay, so, what Water. do we do? Uh, they're, they're, they have been watered. Are you sure? Yeah, you can tell by the, the kind of darker uh, uh, outline on them. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we need a cluck a doodle still. We need to make eggs. And who knows when Wells' quest is going to come up again. Right. So I think the desert had them. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, Lorex has been hating on Karuna because he's funny, but com Comrade Karuna. Yeah, I'll collect because it's funny, but Comrade Karuna is his actual hate. <laughs> if she did anything to ingratiate herself, I mean, that'd be one thing, but. <laughs> but that's like she just, she just has doesn't, it. right? <laughs> now, let's see. I guess if we expand our monster ranch, we can uh, see about getting. Like, I would love to get the king troll in. Is this thing? Aren't you full up already? Yeah, we're full up. We only get four. So weagle. So yeah, there there are no cluckadoodles here. Uh, th that being said, those look pretty. Those look pretty cool to have in a fight. Yeah, I think if we upgrade Shank, that might, that might be something good to use. Huh. Uh, they're in Oddward Valley, when to give. Oddward Valley? We're probably high enough level to survive there now. It is the next dungeon. Yeah. Let's give that a try. That said, what is the next, uh... uh we, pro we probably won't get a plot progression until uh, fall. I guess not. It's, it's probably gonna be, they're probably gonna sync up. And the dungeons are quite obviously synced to one of the seasons. Right. So that's probably what we're gonna have to wait on. Uh, that being said, I mean, it's, it is almost midnight. About the, let's go ahead and uh, check that out. Um, hmm, would it prompt us to release one when we catch a new one? I think I don't know if it would or not. Hey, Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix. Uh, let's find out. So, we're doing... Ooh, turtles look cool. An upgraded Buffamu. Oh, that might be our first actual palace swap. And we can fish here, too. Uh, you know what? It is getting late, and... Try holding it down... Oh, after it comes in. So I was thinking it might be possible to, um, to flip, throw it out faster or further. 150. <laughs> Do you remember when we won the, fish the fishing contest and actually lost? That will never happen again. 
<laughs> well, it will, because you'll forget to talk to the boss. <laughs> so anyway, it's an 84 centimeter pike. That's okay, a piker. This is where we go to get fish. Or serious. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Those are goblins. Okay. So I can't actually go that way. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I saw a cure equipped because the icons look so similar. Okay. Uh, if we're going to have to tangle with those guys, we're probably not going to want to actually fight them, though. So this is that little side area. This is, yeah. where, I, this is where I actually fished, right, to get the 80 centimeter one. What do we have here? Mushrooms. Uh, why not? Okay, so... Let's go here and... Oh, we got... Accessory bread. These things are doing some doing some business to us. Uh, oh. Well, that's right. That was the, uh, the thing that had let us know that this was the next quest thing. Right. And those are blackbirds... So no actual... Uh, what did you say the location was? Uh, Windy Cave. Windy Cave. So probably up north. Yeah. Let's check out the caves. Oh, here. It's here, okay. So I guess I just have to wait for them to show up. Ah, perfect. There they are. So, let us... And I don't believe that buffaloes actually... Um, produce milk. Yeah. And these things have a lot of health. Well, it is the advanced area. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. There we go. There you okay. go. Okay, wind crystal. Hopefully a higher level wind crystal. So, what do you think these things would like? Uh, they like eggs, but obviously you can't give that to them. <laughs> that's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Well, let's eat our bread first. A charm. An aquamarine ring. That's going to be water damage, quite obviously. Yeah. But yeah, I would just start giving it uh, food items and whatnot. Oh, they're not aggressive, it looks like. I mean, they're, they're, they're freaking chickens. What are they going to do to right. us? So. Okay. It didn't work. Can you pick it up? Oh, I guess that means that you can't uh, reassign if your uh, barn is... Yeah, it. yeah, it's not even letting us try it. Okay, yeah. okay. That being said, that was still a productive use of our time to figure that out and get some fish. So, so equip teleport and save. Okay, so yeah, we'll just let uh, Babar go, run and get ourselves an egg maker. 